I have two really short stories for you just now. Uh, and one is of Columba, and one is of the god Columba followed. And both of them are about boats. Do you like boats? They're great. It means you can cruise across the water, travel to far off lands and find fish when you need it. But sometimes there are storms. And sometimes the storms threaten to swamp the boat and the water will be inside rather than outside and you'll be under the water rather than on top of it and it all gets a bit, bit tricky. And uh, the story is told that uh, one time Jesus with the disciples were crossing the Sea of Galilee and they got caught up in a storm. And, uh, well, <laughs> the disciples were pulling on ropes, adjusting the tack, balancing things, maybe not shifting the rocks that provide ballast because that's yeah, a bit difficult, a bit tricky. Um, meanwhile, Jesus was asleep in the boat uh, up at the bow. Uh, so <laughs> in fear of their lives, they woke him up. And the story goes that Jesus, on being awoken, told them, uh, hey, what's your problem? <laughs> Hang on a minute. And stood up and commanded the sea and the wind to be quiet and still. And they were able to carry across the loch. <sighs> but, well, that's a story. And it's a story you read uh, or hear told of in, uh, in scripture. Those things happened ages ago in the time of the ancients. Columba, though, followed the same tradition. And just as he would clothe himself uh, in the sky, in the sun in its splendour, and then bathe in the warmth of it, or uh, find solidity of rock in prayers, like Patrick, he also travelled across the sea in Curras. And the story goes that one time Columbo was in a car sailing along and uh, another storm hit and he wasn't asleep. No, um, he was a prince and uh, even in exile he would venture his person and he started to bail with the rest of them, throwing water from inside of the boat to the outside of the boat. Except his companions at that time had seen the many things he'd done before and looking at him they said, look, why are you bailing? Get into the front there and start praying. Because uh, we know that your prayers are powerful. And we need help just now. So Columba, chastened by them, uh, could have been proud and, uh, and resisted their demands. But no, he went up to the bow of the boat and he prayed. And when he prayed, the wind listened. The waves calmed. And they were able to carry on their way smoothly to their destination. <laughs> Ta-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-